in last class we started discussing okay about web driver right what is web driver web driver is a, is a api object oriented api this api consists some predefined classes interfaces and methods this api consists some predefined class interface and methods yes to configure web driver majorly we need three softwares jdk eclipse and java why we need jdk we are going to use java as our programming language for this reason we need jdk jdk and yes to write these scripts we need editor we are going to use eclipse as our editor editor then Yes, as we discussed, it's a web driver is APA. To use this APA, we need this two jar, CNM server and CNM Java jar for security. Yes, to configure web driver, first step is download and install required software. Installation is required only for JDK. Installation is not required for Eclipse and jar files. Right? We need to download JDK, Eclipse and JAR and we need to install only JDK. Where we can download JDK? From Archil official site, we can download JDK. So where we can download Eclipse? From Eclipse official site. Where we can download JAR file? From Selenium official site. Then step number two, create root folder. Create root folder. In this root folder, create one more folder. The folder name is called library. In this folder, copy required jar files. What are the jars required? We need to copy that jar files in lib. Right? So then, then we need to launch the Eclipse. After downloading Eclipse, we'll get a zip file. We need to extract zip file. After extracting, we'll get Eclipse folder. In Eclipse folder, we have Eclipse icon is there. Simply click on that icon to launch the Eclipse. So while launching Eclipse, it's going to ask the root folder or workspace. Workspace, nothing but root folder URL. You have to select a root folder in workspace. Then create Java project. You have to create Java project. You have to create Java project. Then after creating Java project, we need to configure Selenium jar files. Okay, in the Java project, yes, by default, we can use Java API, but we are supposed to use both APIs, Java API as well as Selenium API. For this reason, we need to configure Selenium jar files. Yes, we need only five simple steps to configure web driver. Right? So, how many members not yet configured web driver? Hmm? Anyone? Not yet configured web driver. Anyone? Offline or online? Or raise your hand those who are configured. Okay. Everyone configured. Good. Now, yes, to write scripts in web driver, you should know about the language basics. Which language basics? Java. Java, Java language basics. We are going to use Java as our programming language. For this reason, we are you should know about Java basics. Yes. So this Saturday, I'm going to start Java from a scratch. But in this class, I'm not going to start Java from a scratch. To write web driver script, you should know class, object, method, constructor, package interface. Right? I am going to discuss these topics. Those who are learning first time programming language. Okay. So you may, you may, don't worry. I am going to start Java this Saturday from a scratch. But this class, I am not starting from a scratch. If I start from a scratch, it will take time to write a first web driver script. First, you should write a first web driver script. For this reason, I am going to discuss these topics. So in high level, in during Java class, we will discuss the same topics in detail. This class, I am going to discuss these topics in high level, not in detail. During our regular Java class timings, we will discuss these things in detail. Okay, first. So here, first thing, class. What is class? And how to create a class? Class is nothing but 
set of similar objects set of similar objects set of similar objects nothing but class right in general if it is a manual class who going to sit in manual class those who are interested to learn manual testing they going to sit selenium class who going to sit in selenium class those who are interested to learn selenium they going to sit in selenium class right so yes so if you not learn selenium if not learn java what going to happen i i think everyone is following the newspapers and uh, when tv channels right yes i told you multiple times i once again i am telling yes even i think infosys right recently two days back infosys they terminated freshers okay 2023 is not easy to survive in a software industry those who are not upgrade your skill set to technical those who are not upgrade your skill set to automation it's a very tough time a tough year for this 2023 right yes so if you are working on a manual yes you may work up to this march after hike anything going to happen especially those who are working those who are not working if you have any idea if you have any plan to get a job as a manual tester it never going to happen this year maybe next year or in previous year is mean maybe possible but this year is not that much easy yes so here so here this 2023 most of the companies operating on offline mode okay earlier 2022 hybrid mode 2021 and 19 complete work from home now they are operating offline mode those who are good at subject they are checking right now and those who are doing i mean dual employment dual employment especially they are checking the pfs in the same duration if you have more than one pf that i am letting moonlight, uh, moonlight yes moonlight yes moonlight issue is happening okay they are checking whether they are doing moonlight or not Okay, whether they are checking whether you are, I mean, you are only doing the job or someone is doing. Okay, yes, during work from home, the advantage some people what they did, someone attended interview, he got the job, and someone is doing instead of him. Now they are checking each and everything. Now because they are coming to office, okay, what is the candidate? How they are doing? They are checking each and everything. Okay, if you are not upgrade your skill set to technical, especially for automation, this year is very tough to survive in IT industry. Okay, not only Infosys, not only Dell, not only uh, Flip, uh, Facebook. Okay, so many companies they are firing the candidates. Those who are not up to mark. Those are working in automation. those who know the technical like a java all those things their job is safe. they are in a green zone okay if you are working in a manual yes you are in a red zone any point of time this year you may lose the job okay fine so we know all those things are why you are wasting your time yes i know but i need to change your mindset okay so some people thinking is okay i need a software job but i don't want any technical without coding i need a software job it's never going to happen okay it may be happen only if you join as a fresher up to 2 years it may possible after 2 years onwards if you upgrade your skill set to technical technical means if you know automation then only we can survive as a tester even if you are a developer I mean, devops engineer yes they need some coding Hey, so I mean, developer coding is not required, especially for automation testing for Selenium. So all the topics in Java not required. Only core Java required. Only basic Java is required. If you learn this basic Java, yes, we can easily survive and we can easily get the job in software. Otherwise, no. Fine. So class is set of similar objects. Okay, in general, if it is a name class, 
only one person sitting in the same class or multiple persons? Multiple persons. Okay. Those who have a common agenda. Common agenda means those who want to learn CNM. Those who want to okay, learn automation, they are sitting in a CNM class. The same manner, class is nothing but set of similar objects, not one object. We have a multiple objects. Set of similar objects, nothing but class. Yes. To define class, we have a keyword called class. Class, class name. Class name is user defined name. Class is a predefined word. Okay, it's a keyword. Keyword means whose meaning already defined in the language. This meaning already defined in the language is a keyword. This class name is user defined name. You can give any name. This is user defined name. Class, class name. So your name is predefined or user defined name? Who gave a name? Your parents. Right? Yes. The same manner. Yes. We can give, I mean, name to class. In general, every class, for example, say name class or any class, we have a four walls and we have an integrate, right? The same manner, every class will start with open brace, ends with close brace. Okay. Then, then, so here, what are things available in the class? In general, class consists variable, method, and constructor. Constructor. Class consists variable, method, and constructor. Constructor. What is class? Set of similar objects, nothing but class. To define a class, syntax is class, class name, class, class name. Class is the keyword, class name is user defined name. You can give any name. Yes. This class start with open brace, end with open brace, uh, close brace. Then, in general, this class consists variable, method, and constructor. What do you mean by family members? Your father, mother, brother, sister comes under family members. The same manner, what is class member? Class member, nothing but this variable, method, constructor, nothing but class members, class members. This variable, method, constructor, nothing but class members. Then, then what is variable and what is importance of variable? What is method? What is importance of method? What is constructor and what is importance of constructor? What is class? Class are nothing but set of similar objects. How to define class? Class, class name. It consists variable methods and constructor. Yes. So what is a variable? A variable is nothing but memory location name. A variable is nothing but memory location name. A variable is nothing but memory location name. Variable nothing but memory location name. It's very simple. In general, I define int n equal to 10. Okay, especially those who are BTX, they can understood the meaning of line number 23. Even they are not good with C, they are not good with Java. Those who are BTX, irrespective of any branch, they know meaning of line number 23. Those who are able to know the meaning of line number 23, yes, you are a right candidate to learn any. Those who are not in a position to understand line number 23 also, yes, they can learn, but they need to spend double time for practice, on Java especially. Okay, yes, they can learn. Okay, so it's not a rocket science. Selenium or Java is not rocket science. Even if you don't know the meaning of line number 23, yes, you can learn. So I have a one example, one student, yes. So here he knew to programming language, he learned Selenium and Java and he got job in TCS. Yes. You have some candidates like that. Right? Yes, you can understand. But you have to spend more time for practice. Those who are BTX, yes, they can understand the meaning of line number 23. What is the meaning of line number 23? Yes, we store 10 into variable. The variable name is called n. So in general, everything going to store in where? Memory. Everything going to store in a memory only. 
Okay, so every system we have memory. This value going to store in a memory only. Which location this mem this value is stored? For example, this ten is stored in a memory. This ten is stored in a memory. In which location this ten is stored? That location name is nothing but variable. For example, in the memory. It stored in this location. This location name is nothing but variable. What is variable? Memory location name. A variable nothing but memory location name. Memory location name. Right? So, in general, everything is our house. We are splitting our house into multiple rooms and we are giving labels to each and every room. Why to split? Why to give the label? Why can't use a single room? Huh? Why to use multiple bedrooms, multiple washrooms, multiple okay, I mean, halls or I mean, uh, balconies? Comfort. Right? So if it is a single room, it's a difficult to use it. Right? If you are split into multiple rooms, yes, we can easily, comfortably use our rooms. Right? The same manner. We are splitting memory into multiple blocks and we are giving labels to each block. He is nothing but variable. Why to split? Why to give the label? Convenient. For convenient. Yes, a variable is nothing but memory location name. Memory location name. Right? Is clear. Then, then what about mother's are? We discussed two words. One is mother. Another one, sorry, one is variable, another one is class. What is class? Yeah. Set of similar objects. How to define class? Class, 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 class name. It consists variable, method, and constructor. Right? What is variable? Memory location name. Memory location name. Then, then what is method? So, method is nothing but block of executable statements. Method is nothing but Block of executable statements to perform a, a task or action. To perform a task or action, we need method. So, method is nothing but block of executable statement to perform a task or action. To perform a task or action, we need method. Yes, in general, Method consists two parts. One is header, method header. Another one is method body. Method consists two parts. One is method header. The second one is method body. What is method? Block of exclusive statement to perform an task or action. So it consists two parts. One is header, and one is body. Yes, what is header and what is body? Header is nothing but return type, mother name, param list is nothing but header. And like, like a class, method also start with open brace and open brace and end with end brace okay this is nothing but body this is another body and this is nothing but header header so what is what is method Block of exclude statement to perform a task or action. We go for method. It consists two parts. One is header, other one is body. Return type, method name, parameter list is called header. And yes, body of the mother is called mother body. Mother body. Mother body. Okay. In general, when you go for variable and when you go for method. Okay, so very simple. For example, for example, so here, this is a person.
here is a person this person having some properties like he has some name he has some height and he has some weight and he going to perform some actions okay actions are he can walk he can eat he can drink these are the actions he can walk he can eat he can drink right in general in general so here if it is a property name height weight these are the properties to represent these properties okay for this one we have some values fixed all values then we'll go for variable to represent properties to represent properties we'll go for variable right name one value height one value weight one value right what about this one these are the actions these are actions to represent actions to represent actions will go for method to represent action will go for method so here how many kilometers you going to walk do you have a exact number throat life how many gallons of water are you going to drink do you have exact count throat life how many tons of food are you going to eat is country's action yes sir no so after breakfast again he need lunch again dinner again in between snacks again night biryanis again yes we yeah, have I mean this chain will be i mean after 2 3 hours this action going to continue right so yes if it is a continuous action to represent action we need a method we need a method if it is a property if it is a value we have value then go for variable what is variable memory location name to represent action we are using method or to represent any task to perform a task or action will go for method right so how to define method written type method name and parameter list it consists body also in general if written type is void if written type is void this method does not retain any value if written type is void this method does not retain any value and and one more thing for this method if you are not passing any parameter then we'll call as default method default method the method without parameters method without parameters is called default method the method with parameter is called parameterized method in general if you are not passing any parameter this method then we'll call as default here for this method we are not passing any parameters it's a default method it's a default method method without parameter is called default method it's a default method why you are not passing any parameters or any arguments parameters arguments both are same some people will call as parameter some people will call as arguments technical words okay especially those who are new to technical or new to programming language for them maybe these are the technical words parameters arguments methods okay or classes interfaces these are the technical words you should familiar with these technical words when you can familiar with these technical words if you practice otherwise you are not in a position position to pronounce technical words also will never get a job right 
So method with parameters is called parameterized method. For example, here void sum two int a int b. So here, so here the difference between sum one and sum two is sum one is a default method. Sum two is a parameterized method. Param method. Why param method? So this method we are passing two parameter, two integer parameters. For this method we are passing two integer parameters. Method with parameter is called parameterized method. The method without parameter is called default method. Method without parameter is called default method. Method with parameter is called parameterized method. Parameterized method. Yes. So in Selenium, we have a default methods and we have a parameterized methods. Okay, we have a both. We have a default and we have a parameterized. We are going to use both methods, both kinds of methods. Right? The next one, for example, if any method, if any method, okay, return type is other than void, other than void, the last statement in the method should be written. If any method written type is other than void, the last statement in the method should be written. For example, here, here I given written type as int. It means this method should retain integer value. If written type here is a float, written type here is a float, then this method should retain floating point value. If written type here is a string, this method should retain string value. What is this float, int, string, double? Yes, these are the data types. Okay, yes, these are the technical words. Those who are new to programming language. These are the data types. We'll discuss. Don't worry. We'll discuss about what are the data types available in Java and what is their importance. We'll discuss. Right? Right now, I'm not discussing about data types. Okay, I'm directly discussing about a method. Method. What is method? Block of exclude statements to perform an action. So it consists two parts. One is header or one is body. What is header? Return type, method name, parameter list is called header. And this is method. Method without any parameter is called default method. Default method. Method with parameter is called parameterized method. Parameterized method. Yes. If written type is other than void, written type is other than the void, the last statement in the method should be written. You should retain a corresponding value. If written type is int here, this method should retain integer value. If written type is float here, it should retain float value. If written type is string here, it should retain string value. Right? We discuss three words. Class variable and method. What is class? Set of singular objects. How do you define class? Class, class name. It consists variable, method and constructor. Okay. What is variable? Memory location. Memory. What is method? Lock of actual statement to perform action. So entire synonym course, entire synonym course, I'm going to use only three words. Class, object and method. If you have a clarity command on these three words, entire web driver course is very easy. If you don't have a clarity command on these three words, entire web driver course is like a Malayal movie. When we can enjoy Malayal movie? If you know the language, if you know the language, yes, even if it's a movie, movie for entertainment, even if it's a movie, if you don't know language, are you going to enjoy the movie? When we can enjoy? If you know the language, if you don't know the language, we can't, right? Yes. So when we can enjoy while writing scripts in web driver, if you know the, this word, class object and method, right? Any difficulty, any confusion to know about class and method? Fine. Next to mine, yes, object. What is object and why we need object? So here, 
object is nothing but instance of a class. Object is nothing but instance of a class. Object is nothing but instance of a class. The main purpose is to access class members. To access class members, we need object. What do you mean by class members? A variable, method, constructor, nothing but class members. Yes, to access any variable, to access any method, we need object. For example, if I want to know about your father, whom to ask? Any one of your family member. If I want to know about your brother, whom to ask? Any one of your family member. The same manner, if I want to access this variable, if I want to access this method, or if I want to access this constructor, we need object. What is object? Instance of a class. Instance of a class. The main purpose of object is with the help of this object, we can access class members. We can access class members. It means it may be variable, method, or constructor. Yes, in Java. So we have a multiple ways to, I mean, create object. Even to know about your father, I have a multiple ways to know about your father. I can ask your brother, I can ask your mother, I can ask your sister. Only one way or multiple ways? I have a multiple approaches to know about your father, right? The same manner to access class members, we need object. In Java, we have a multiple ways to create object. Multiple ways to create object. Yes. One of the simplest way is called new operator. One of the simplest way is new operator. Right? For example, instead of you, you, okay, if I ask your mother, you'll get a more information about your father than you. Yes or no? Why? So your interaction with father is less time. What about your mother? More. More yes. Than you, right? And maybe you don't have a that matured levels. Okay, to explain about your father, what to explain, what not to explain, you may not have that much, I mean, maturity. What about your mother? She has more mature than you, right? Yes. So here we have a multiple ways to create object to in Java. One is new operator or factory method or clone method or new instance. We have a four ways, new operator, clone method, or factory method, or new instance. Yes, but in real time, most of the time, we are going to use this new operator. To create object, we are going to use new operator. Like, like, so instead of you, I am going to approach your mother to know about more details about your mother. Because your mother is more mature than you. Right? Yes. So one of the simplest way is new operator. Yes. To use new operator, syntax is class name, class name, some space, object name equal to new class name. Class name, some space, object name equal to new class name. This object name is user defined name. You can give any name. Object name is user defined name. You can give any name. Class name, some space, object name equal to new class name. Yes. With the help of this object, we can access this class members. What is class members? Variable, method, and constructor. Yes. To access variable syntax is object name dot variable name. Object name dot variable name. To access method syntax is object name dot method name. Object name dot method name. What is object? In sense of a class. What is the purpose of object? To access class members. To access class members. We need object. How to create object by using new operator? 
class name some space object name equal to new class name s to access variable syntax is object name dot variable name to access method object name dot method name sir you are writing this syntax one by one easily comfortably but i am facing issue to remember all this syntax sir i already told you how many members following i mean stay i mean wallpaper technique anyone only one what about remaining Yes. Follow this one after spending one year at Bad University. Okay, don't worry. We have a one year time to spend here, right? We need to visit so many places in Amir Bad University, and we need to visit so many institution and so many courses. Then we'll realize. Then we'll follow this thing. If we follow now itself, what going to happen? We'll get a job. Once I will get a job, what going to happen? I don't have any flexibility. To watch a movie or to watch a cricket, whatever time I want. If I don't have a job, only one call month end, daddy account to double pay. Then entire month, yes, I can watch the movie, whatever time I want. I can watch a, a match or I can roam around this Amir Bad University. No issues. Only one time I need to call to my father. I need to give explanation to my father monthly. Only once that is month end. If I get a job, everything should be scheduled. Everything should be planned. Okay, if you want to I mean, watch a movie or you want to rest today, then we need I mean, TL permission, manager permission, client permission, so on so permission. If you don't have a job, this many permissions are not required. So for this reason, I have some practical problems. For this reason, I'm not practicing, sir. I'm not following this technique, sir. Is it true? If it is true, okay, no issues for me. You can take your own time. Don't worry. It is practice after one year. Okay. Yep. New instance. We have a four ways: new operator, factory method, clone method. I mean, new instance method and clone method. Okay. Fine. So yes. We discuss about this class, object, and method. What is class? Set of similar objects. How do you define class? Class, class name. It consists variable, method, and constructor. To access these variables, methods, and constructor, we need object. Object is nothing but instance of a class. One of the simplest way to create object is new operator. So syntax is. Class name, some space, object name equal to new class name. Then, with the help of this object, we can access variable, we can access method. To access variable, syntax is object name dot variable name. To access method, object name dot method name. Then, what is method? Method is nothing but block of equal statement. Okay, to perform an action. Yes, it consists two parts: header and body. Header nothing but return type, method name, parameter list is called header. And this is body method without any parameter is called default method. Method with parameter is called parameterized method. If written type is other than void, the last statement method should be written. If you know these three words, if you have a clarity command on these three words, entire web driver course is very simple, very easy. Any difficulty, any confusion to know about class, object, and method? Yes. Now it's time to write a Java programs. Okay. Yes. So here to write a Java program, as we discussed earlier, first you have to launch a Eclipse. How to launch Eclipse? As we know. After downloading Eclipse, yes, we have a Eclipse zip file. We extracted. We have Eclipse folder is there. In Eclipse folder, you have a Eclipse icon, or you can create a shortcut. Simply click on this icon to launch the Eclipse. Yes, while launching Eclipse, we need to pass the workspace URL. Workspace. What is workspace? Root folder. Why to pass root folder? We are going to store web driver scripts into this folder. Yes, I want store scripts into this folder. My root folder name is Selenium Scripts February 2023. Then launch. Simply click on launch. So 
So once you are clicking launch, yes. So welcome window going to appear or not appear? Not appear. Why? It's not first time. So first time only we'll get a welcome window. Yes, in that welcome window, we already click hide button. It means from second time onwards, the welcome window not going to appear. Right? Yep. Let me open my Eclipse. Okay. Yes. In the last class, we already created a project. What is the project name here? ABC Bank. Right? So here, if you expand this one, you have a SRC. SRC means source code. SRC means source code. Yes. So in this project, first you have to create a, create a package. We'll discuss what is package and what is importance of package. We'll discuss. Yes. Right now, I'm creating packets. To create packets, right click on SRC, a new packets. So, packets name is user defined name. You can give any name. Yes, I'm giving packets name as Java Pack. And make sure don't use the same name for project and packets. I observed so many of your seniors. They are giving the same name for project and package and they are facing issue while executing. If you are giving the same name for project and package, your Eclipse not going to work as expected. We'll get issues. Make sure you should give the different names. My project name is ABC Bank and my package name is Java. How to get package? Right click new SRC, new select package. So use a different name, then finish. That's it. Then after this, in this one, I'm going to create a new class. Yes, to create new class, right click on package, new select class. So my class name is, yes, use a different name. You can give any name. So here I'm giving class name as sample. And for this one, I need main method. To get main method, check the checkbox. Right click on SRC, not right click, right click on package, new, select class. In the class, class name is user defined name. Then, so we need a main method. To get main method, check the checkbox and click on finish. Once we're clicking finish button, we'll get structure of Java program. This is structure of Java program. Let me increase font size. Okay. To increase font size, go to window, preferences, expand general, expand appearance, colors and fonts. Here again, expand Java, Java editor, then edit and I'm changing to some 14. Is it mandate to, to edit the uh, font size or to increase the font size? No. Not mandatory, it's up to you. You are convenient with this font, you can continue. So I'm going to update the general text font also. So it's not mandatory each and everyone to change the font. It's up to you. Yes. How to update the font? Window, preferences, preferences. expand general, expand appearances, and select colors and fonts. And here, expand Java. In the Java, we have a Java editor option is there. Select this one, edit, and what are the font style you want, and then font family, then font size, you can select. In general, don't change this style and font. Use the default one, you can increase the size. Then click OK, then apply and end. Close. Yes. 
So here we created a class. How to get a class? Class, class name. This is a keyword. Okay, this is a keyword. Sample is use a different name. We can give any name, right? What about publics are? Public is a access modifier, access modifier. In Java, we have a four access modifier. Public, private, protected, and default. We'll discuss about this modifier. So the meaning of public is anyone can access these class members. What do we mean by class members? Variable, method, constructor. Yes, anyone can access these class members because it's a public class. Private class means? No. So we can't use these class members outside this class. We can use this name within the class itself. So we have one more modifier, protected. Yes, protected members. Yes, we can use outside class, but you should have a parent relation. And we have a default. If you not specified anything, then we'll call as default. If it is default member, yes, we can access the default member with the same package. We'll discuss about these rules later. Right? Right now, right now, this is a public class. It means anyone can access these class members. How different class? Class, class name. So everyone should use the sample only. This user different name. You can give any name. Yes. This class consists a method. So what is mother name here? Me. What is void? Return type. Void is written type. Main is a method. And this is a parameterized method. Parameterized method. For this method, we are passing string array as a parameter. Main is a parameterized method. We are passing string array as a parameter. So then is it predefined or user defined? Predefined pre method. Okay, it's a predefined method. Okay, Java predefined method. And this is a starting point of your program. Your Java program always excuse me, start with main method. Main is a starting point of your Java program. Your execution start with line number five. Even if you have some statement before line number five, but where to start the execution? From line number five only. Right? Main is a starting point of your program. And this method not returning any value. Why? The return type is void. Yes, here in the main method also, we use a public keyword. Sir. What is the meaning of public? Just know we discussed. It's an access modifier. Anyone can access this method. Anyone can access this method. There is no restriction. Right? Yes, like class also public and method also public. Then, what is the importance of static keyword over here? Just know we discuss to access any class member, which is required, object is required. In general, if you have a toll gate, okay, so in general, in highway, we have a toll gate. So what is the purpose of a toll gate? Collecting tolls. So those who are traveling on that highway, they're going to collect the tolls. That is a thumb rule, right? For example, MLA or CM or PM is traveling on highway. Are they going to pay the tolls? Why? Public servants or public lotus? Huh? Are they serving or they are looting our property? They are serving minimum and they are looting more. Serving and looting or only looting? Hmm? Okay. looting? Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so yes. yes. This is our system only. Yes, in our system, we have exception cases. Right? If you are a common man, yes, you have to pay. If you are a VIP, no need to pay. You have a more flexibility. If you are a VIP, then no need to pay all these things. Tolls, current bills, water bills, they are not ready to pay. Where they are saying government buildings and they are not going to give vacated also. Yes, if you see the new channels or I mean, uh, 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 what I can say, TV channel, I mean, newspapers, yes, sometimes Supreme Court forcefully vacating the government flats. They are not ready to vacate the buildings also. 
and they are not paying these things also. Yes, we have some exception cases, right? Yes, in Java also we have exception case. If any okay, mother is static. If any mother is static, no need to create object. Without creating object, we can access a method. In general, thumb rule to access mother is yes. We need object and we need to call a method object name dot method name. This is a general syntax. Okay, so in general, to access any class members, we need object and we need to access that method by using object name dot method name. If it is a variable, object name dot variable name. If it is any variable, any method, okay, if it is static, no need to create object. Without creating object, yes, we can access. This is a static method. This is a static method. No need to create object to this class. Without creating object to this class, we can access this main method. For this reason, we are seeing static keyword. It's an entire question. What is the importance of static keyword in a main method? The main importance is, yes, we are not creating object to main class. Without creating object to main class, we can access because it's a static method. Main is a static method. Right? Yes. Your execution start with main method. So here, this is a class body. When class body started, line number three. When class body ended, line number 10. What about mother body? Started line number five. End with line number eight. Do you have any statement in the method? No, we don't have. Yes, to exclude one, we need to write a body in the method, right? In general, what is what is output statement in C? Printf. Input statement? Scanner. Scanner. So in Java, there is no by default input statement. But yes, we have a output statement in Java. Yes, for this one, we have output statement in Java. Output system. statement system is a predefined class. System is a predefined class in Java. This class defined in lang package. And out is a print stream. Out is a print stream. So by default, this out represent monitor. Print stream represent monitor. Okay, if it is in in represent is a print input stream, it represent keyboard. Then to print anything, we have a two methods. One is a print method, another one is print ln method. To print data in a single line, we are using print method. If we are using a print ln, yes, we can print data in a new lines. New line. Everything going to print in a new line. So here system dot out dot print ln. So for this method, we need to pass the data within the double quotes. So here, welcome to Java. Sir. So everyone going to write only welcome to Java by seeing this message. Yes, we know this thing. So uh, maybe how many members refer that uh, Java textbook? What is the textbook? Huh? So we see this program from the day one by seeing this program, some people may come, okay. So we know everything, why is wasting this much time to explain these things? If you know, only welcome to Java for this reason here again. Okay, if you understood only welcome to Java, you are care of address Samir Pet SR Nagar. If you know what we explained today, you are care of address going to change, right? Yes. In general, what are the text you are typing within the double quotes? What are the text you are typing in double quotes? It not going to check the spelling. It not going to check the grammar. It's simply going to print the text in a console. What is system? It's a predefined class defined in this package, java.lang package. It's a default package for every Java program. And what is out? Out is a print stream, print stream. By default, it represent monitor. What is print ln? Print ln is a method, method. To print anything on a console, we are going to use print or print ln. If it is a print, 
same line it's going to print. Print a line. Ln means new line. It's going to print a new line. Right? Yes. So here, how to how to say this program in general to say this program? So in Eclipse, we can simply click on the save icon. So here, once you are clicking save icon, it's going to compile automatically. Your Eclipse is going to compile automatically. What is the file name here? Sample.java. So here the file name is sample.java. So if it is Java file, extension is .java. If it is C file, extension is .c. After successful compilation, so once you are clicking save button, what is going to happen? Your program is going to compile automatically. Then after compilation, we will get dot .class file. Dot .class file. Who is going to generate this dot .class file? Your compiler is going to generate. When it is going to compile? In Eclipse, once I click save button, it is going to compile automatically. Okay, so in general, during your BTEC, it is not going to compile automatically. When it is going to compile, we need to open command prompt, we need to execute a command. What is the command? Java, Java C, some your class name dot Java, then only it is going to compile. Otherwise, it is not going to compile. In Eclipse, we are using Eclipse, no need to use any command, right? Once you are clicking the save button, it is going to compile. After successful compilation, we will get dot class file. Where this dot class file is going to store, sir? Yes, this dot class file is going to store in a bin folder. This is our root folder. This is our project name. Inside our project, our dot java file available in src. Corresponding dot class file stored in a bin. Yes, so here we have a which file? Dot class file. The type here is dot class file. This dot class file consists byte code. Byte code. Byte code is machine code. Okay, machine understandable code. It's a byte code. Are you able to understood this code? No. Yes. So here, after successful compilation, we'll get that dot class file. This dot class file consists byte code. Machine understandable code. Now, yes. To execute this program, to execute this program, simply click on run icon. Once I click this run icon, in Eclipse we have a run icon. Once I click this run icon, it is going to print welcome to Java in a console. Yes, in the console it printed welcome to Java. Right? So any queries, any doubts regarding this program? What is system dot out dot print ln output statement? Okay, in output statement, we are writing output within the double quotes. Fine. Now I'm going to write a one more class or one more program. Yes, I'm going to create new class. To create new class, right click on package, new select class. Here my class name is. Uh, method demo. I want to explain class object and method. For this reason, I am using class name as method demo. Then for this one, I need a method, a main method. To get main method, check the checkbox and click on finish. Yes, earlier we created only one class in a program. Now, wantedly, I am going to create one more class in the same program. Can I create more than one class in the same program? Can you create more than one room in the same house? Yes. The same manner, yes, we can create multiple classes in a same program. No issues. Okay, not, okay, yeah, package also we can create multiple classes. In general, in the same program, yes, we can create multiple classes. How to define class? Class, class name. Class name is predefined name or is a defined name? Class. Defined name. You can give any name. I given class name as A. Then in this class, 
I'm going to define int x equal to 10, y equal to 20. This x and y are variables. I store 10 into x, 20 into y. Right? Yes. Then I'm going to create a method. How to define method? Return type void and return type and mother name. Mother name is user different name. I want to add these two numbers. So for this one, so I mean output statement sum is how to add x plus y. What is the formula to add two numbers? X plus y. What is a here? A is a class. This class having two variables and one method. What is the variable names? X and y. What is x value? 10. By value? 20. Yes. What is sum? It's a method. Okay. Sum is a method. In the method, we are, we are adding these two numbers. In the method, we are adding these two numbers. Right? So now, so can I exclude this program? If you exclude this one, so here, yes, anything going to print in the console? No. no. Why no? As we discussed, what is starting point of a program? Main is the starting point of a program. Right? So in the main, do you have any statement? No. Without main. Okay, yes, main is there, but there is no statement. If you try to exclude, nothing going to print in a console. Yes, anything printed in the console? No. So to print anything, yes, in the main, you have to write a statement. Correct? So how to access this class members? Class members means I want print x value or I want print the sum value. How to access this class members? Yes, we need to create object. Way to create object? In main method. Why to create up in main method? This is starting point. Main is a starting point. For this reason, you have to you have to create object in main method. Right? If you have an ID card in office, where you are going to site? Outside office or inside office? Hmm? Inside. Okay. In the main gate, you have to swipe. Right? Yes. So to access this method, okay. We need a we need a uh, object. So here, class name, object name, equal to new class name. Class name is A. Object name is pretty different name or is a different name? Different. Use a different name. We can give any name. Now, first I want to print this X value. Output statement. What is the output statement? System dot out dot print ln. Okay, then X value. How to print x value plus yes. object name dot variable name. Okay, now so in the main method we have two statements. First statement is creating object, the second statement printing x value. Right now, can I can I uh, access the method by using object? Yes, we can access. How to access? OBJ dot summer. Mother name. Object name dot mother name. Now, if I execute this one, earlier it not printed anything. Now it printed some value. Sir, to print 10, 20, uh, to add 10, 20, this 20 lines code need, right? If I give you this 10, 20, Within one minute, I will give answer. Why to write this many lines quotes are? Yes. If you think like this, so your program giving, okay, response in a less time. Not only this 10, 20, even you are giving a five digit number or six digit number, it will be the same manner, same fast. What about you? If it is 10 and 20, we'll give you answer in a fraction of second. If you are giving five digit number, you, what you are going to ask? Calci. Do you have a calci? If it's a five digit number or six digit numbers, we need a calci. What about your computer? Calci is not required. 
right? Yes. So for this one, yes, this many lines code is required. You should understood what is a method and how to define a method. What is a class? How you define a class? What is a variable? How you define a variable? Yes. For this one, we need to understood. If you try to buy hat from this open brace to end brace, and when in general, when we think about number of lines code to buy hat during your BTEC, especially. Those were CACIT. What you did for lab exams? We by hearted from open brace to end brace. We don't know meaning of comma, full stop, semicolon. We by hearted each and every line. If you apply the same learning here, yes, for care of address, same. Or you are a manual test, a lifelong manual test. If you understood the concept, then yes. Your care of address going to change, your status going to change, manual tester to automation tester. Yes, if you are automation tester, we'll get a more salary and you are, you are in a safe job. Yes, in my team, I'm earning more than my developers. The logic is very simple. Okay, so if I'm a developer, to prove myself, so many members know the coding, it will take more time for me. The tester, yes, majority of tester mindset is we don't want coding, right? Those who are tester, if you know the coding, yes, we can prove ourselves in less time, right? Yes, we'll get a more manual testers, but not much testers, less people, right? Yes, for this reason, yes, I'm earning more than my developers. Yeah. Sure. So here the meaning of line number 17 is we are trying to print x value. Okay. So what is x here? X is a variable and we assign some value into this variable. How much value we assign? 10 we store. I want print that value. Yes. To print that value as we discuss. So we need output statement is required. What is output statement? System dot out dot printl. Right? Then, so here this is output statement. I'm printing x values. Then to access a variable, to access any variable, what is syntax? Object name dot variable name. Object name dot variable name. You say syntax, right? Now, yes, this is for your uh, what I can say reading purpose. Or for understanding purpose, I'm printing x value is then plus object name obj dot variable. Here, what is variable name here? X. obj is object name. So before going to print, first you have to create object, then access this variable. And create object and access this method. Right? Yes. In the same program, can I create one more method here? Yes, we can create. So I'm going to create one more method. Void sum two. Int A, int B. What is the difference between sum one and sum two? Sum one is Default sum to S parameterized method. Parameter method. Yes, sum to is a parameterized method. Sum one default default. Method. Yes. While calling someone, while calling someone, we are not passing any parameters because someone is a default method. If it is default method, while calling this method, no need to pass any parameters. Sum two is a param method or parameterized method. How many parameters need to pass? Two. Any two or only integers? Only integers. Only integers. Only integers. I given data type as a int. I given data type as a int. If I specify here data type as a string, we need to pass string value. If you specify here data type as a float, float values. Right? Yes. Now, to access sum two, syntax is remaining same. Object name dot mother name. But 
while calling method we need to pass two integer values now i am passing one and two what going to happen this one going to copy into a and this two going to copy into b, b. and we are adding a and b what is a and b value Three. Three. One plus two. Three. three. Yes, it's going to print three sum two. Let me check. Yes. Sum one value 30, sum two, three. Right? Yes. In the same class, can I add one more method? Yes. Yes, we can add. Yes. How many mothers we can add like this? N number of mothers. There is no. Yes. So we can add N number of mothers. Sir, before opening a class, everything is clear and easy. Once you start open the class, you start writing program. Okay, so for me, it's showing a Greek and Latin, sir. Anyone feeling like that? Okay, yes, if you are feeling a Greek and Latin, once I open a class, then one thing is you have to spend more time. So here, yes, this is syntax. Okay, object name dot variable name, object name dot mother name. This is syntax. So to use the syntax, I open a Eclipse, right? We are writing programs. Okay, yes. To familiar with this one, it will take some time for you. Okay, in one day, you are not going to familiar with all these words. It will take some time for you. If you practice these things after the class, yes, you can familiar with. And if you're attending, I mean, next time, so why is explaining these things again and again and this much time? You will feel bored. So maybe first time, those who are learning first time, for you guys, it may be a little bit difficult. A little bit digest, I mean, uh, difficulty to digest these words and this class especially. Okay, I'm going to create one more method called some three. So for you, you should practice more. So, yes, after this class, we have a how much time till evening? Uh, okay, two plus three, five hours time is there. 11 to one, two hours, two to, uh, two to five, three hours, five hours time is there. Okay, you can practice this topic in five hours, no issues. And if you struck it anywhere, yes, we have a junior faculty with you. You can help, you can take the help them. Okay, yes, they will help you. Uh, sorry, I did not get you. Int, which line you are talking about? Tenth line. Tenth line, okay. Why is sum two, okay? If you want to give the input, here we want to give value here only. Yes, you can give. What is the meaning of giving value here? What is the use? No, no. If you don't want to give the value, so we can define and we can initialize. So why when we are wanted using parameterized method? Parameterized method purpose is someone should pass, not you. Okay. If you want to initialize itself, we can go for default method here. When you go for parameterized method, someone should pass the value, not you. Okay, not you. Okay, if you use this one, always it's going to print 30 only. Okay, it always going to add 10, 20 only. Okay, so if you have a calculator, every time you are going to add 10 plus 20, what is the number you want, you can enter and you can calculate, right? The purpose of this sum to is not to add only specified number. Any number can enter. Who going to enter? User going to enter. Right? Yes. To add those values, yes, we are using a parameters. Okay. This method uses different. This method is different. Fine. Now, so here in sum 3, this is method 3. Then here I am changing y to int. If you change y to int means he should return use which word? Which keyword we need to use? 
written keyword last keyword that should be written written okay because this mother is returning value so here i am adding okay by using written statement we can return only single value or we can return expression value so now s yes, i am returning expression value i am adding x plus y and returning right yes this mother is returning some value someone should receive right for this one yes int result equal to obj dot sum3 so here why you are using a result variable over here this mother is returning value and someone should receive yes this variable is receiving some value and we are storing some value into this variable which variable result variable then to print this value we can print this variable value so now um, sum3 equal to plus variable result in general we'll use a plus symbol to print a variable value or to print a mother value okay so in general for this output statement we need to pass always string values we need to pass always string value if i want to pass any variable value or mother value you have to use plus symbol over here plus variable name plus mother name you can use here if you say so plus expression value a plus variable name you can pass or you can directly print plus obj dot sumtri also you can write instead of storing this value into variable and printing this variable value you can directly write here plus obj3 dot sumtri yes now if i execute this line it going to print sum1 sum2 sum3 this one yes if it is default method while calling method no need to pass any parameter if it is parameterized method while calling method we need to pass the values if method is returning some value we should receive for this one yes you should define a variable to receive the value which variable will define based on return type if this mother is an integer value we need to define integer value if mother is a string value string variable if mother is returning float value float variable then you can print this variable value out. right yes it going to print this some value yes is entire question so here what is main here mother can i execute this program without main method can i can i execute this program without main method answer is no no Why no no sir main is the starting point of program. starting point main method. next entry question for this main method we are passing one parameter which parameter we are passing yes, string instead of string i change to int parameter int array yes, string argument i then pass can I execute this program yes we can write integer array but not going to execute okay try to execute if you try to execute is showing error so here please define main method as public static void main string args in english a defined like this instead of writing like this can i write like this yes you can write no issues but who going to understood you only if anyone want to understood then you should follow the the syntax what is syntax given by the language you should follow you should use that language basics or i mean uh, grammar then only everyone can understood if you are violating those things other members can't understood yes you can understood you so yes for this main so we need to pass always string array to main method not integer array not float array not other array 
we need to pass only string array why string array it's a predefined if you try to change it will not going to execute this entire question yep coming to your task we discuss only three words what are those class object and method we will discuss about constructor package interface in next class okay yes today your task is similar with these three words your task is very simple you have to practice on class object and method you have to practice on these three words as i told you if you have a clarity command on these three words entire remaining post is very simple for you if you are not able to understood these three words yes is a malayal movie course right any difficulty any confusion to digest these three words nothing yep coming to possible entry questions question number 1 right syntax right syntax for main method or right a java program structure right java program structure and explain each and every keyword right java program structure and explain each and every keyword This is another question. Next question. What is importance of static keyword in a main method? What is importance of static keyword in a main method? What is importance of static keyword? Without creating object, we can access main method. So why it is a static method? Next question. can we create java program without main method can we create java program without main method answer is yes but we can't execute to execute as yes, main is required to write yes we can write no issues but we can't execute next question can we pass integer array to main method can we pass integer array to main method yes you can pass but not going to execute can we pass can we pass integer array instead of a string array here can you pass integer array answer is no yes you can pass but not going to execute next question what is importance of object what is importance of object next question so yep what is importance of method what is importance of method to execute particular task to create a method okay what is importance of method okay so yep uh, yep mm, yeah these are the possible entry question from today class okay So tomorrow we will discuss about these three words: constructor, package, interface. If time permits me, I will write a first web driver script. If not, I will write in day after tomorrow. Thanks, thanks for your time. We'll meet tomorrow. Discuss about remaining basics.